Oh yeah, what's that you ask? That is the rhythmic sound of a ganza. It is a percussion instrument, just like you see here. So, figured I would give you a little sound, sound sample so you could see what a ganza sounded like. So, here we go. First of all, um, let me get this set up. <laughs> Might help. Uh, we need to find the surface area of each of these two labeled ganzas. Well, the ganzas are cylinders. So, surface area of the small one. Small ganza. Surface area 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So, just like we've been doing, 2 is 2, pi is pi. The radius of the small ganza. Well, that's the diameter because you see that red line going all the way across, cutting right through the middle of the base of the ganza. So, we're going to take half of that, divide by 2. So, 3.5 divided by 2 gives us a radius of 1.75 centimeters times the height. So, we're just all I'm doing is substituting the numbers, or what we sometimes informally say plug them in. So, 2 pi r squared, 2 is 2 pi is pi. Once again, the radius is 1.75 squared. So, 1.75 squared. So, I'm just going to keep everything the same right here. Uh, 10 times 1.75 times 2, and that's going to give me 35. So, 35 pi plus 1.75 squared, that's 1.75 times itself, not times 2, common mistake, don't do times 2, times itself, don't be a moron, this is 7th grade, advanced math, so take your time, slow down, don't make a silly mistake, do that, times 2, and you get 6.125, I say that and watch me make a silly mistake in this video, it happens. Even I can be a moron. All right, so let's add this together. 6.125 pi plus 35. We're going to get 41.125. 41.125 times pi. And I'll just go ahead and multiply that out. Times 3.14. And that's 129.1 approximately. 129.1 centimeters squared. So, uh, there we go. Then, what's next? Uh, back to the question. You need to find the surface area of the other ganza. So, change colors, surface area of the larger ganza. If you go through all the same steps, I won't do all that over and over, but they basically set up the same thing. So, let's cut to the chase. Uh, the surface area of the larger ganza is roughly 470.6 centimeters squared. So that answers part A. Now, part B, back to our good friend, the proportion. Uh, the weight of the smaller ganza is 1.1 pounds, and if they're proportional, proportional, that means we can write a proportion. So we need to find the weight of the larger ganza. Well, what I say we do is let's just write a proportion of small ganza to large ganza. And we can just do the surface area of the small ganza, which we found out was 129.1 over the surface area of the large ganza. Notice how I'm keeping it consistent. Surface area over surface area. So 470.6 equals small ganza. What else do we know about the small ganza? It weighs about 1.1 pounds. So 1.1 pounds LBs. And then we don't know that. So using cross products, we would then get 129.1 X equals uh, 470.6 times 1.1 equals 
66. So now just solve for x. Divide both sides by 129.1. So we're going to take that, divide by 129.1. And we're going to get 4.009, basically 4 pounds. 4 pounds. There you have it. So ask Mr. O'Bara if you can play the ganza in orchestra.